All right, guys, tonight we are going to be talking about the Bead Buster. And the reason why we bought one is because we switch out tires multiple times on our machines. For example, we got the new Rockzillas here, 35 inch tires going on the Pro XP. So the chicanes are going to be coming off, the Rockzillas are going to be going on. Prior to that, where I filmed most of this video was when I changed out my 32 inch tires on my KRX and went to um, terabytes, the, oh my gosh, terabytes, the Megabyte 34 inch tire. When I switched that out, I ended up putting new rims. Um, so I switched all those out and then I took the stock rims and actually installed paddles on them. And that's what you'll see tonight that I filmed mainly um, when I did all of that. But also the reason why we bought the Bead Buster is because after doing this a few times, spending money a few times to take them down to the shop and get the tires switched out, we decided to spend the money on the product. Um, you can buy this at multiple stores. We bought it off Amazon, we'll provide a link below. Um, but it is a great tool. It's worked multiple times already. Dave actually took it to his house, switched out tires for his review on his K&M XRC um, with this as well. So I'm gonna be using this for the Pro XP now and switching out to the Rockzilla. So let's jump into the video and we'll show you how easy it is to use. Honestly, if you're looking at just removing beadlock rims, that's the key. If you guys have beadlock rims, this is a gem. If you don't have beadlock rims, a little bit different story, you can do other things, but beadlock rims, to change them out at home, the Bead Buster works amazing. All right, so before we jump into the video, let me give you a quick review on a compressor I was sent through Amazon, and then we'll jump into the video after that and show you how this Bead uh, Buster works, because I'm telling you right now, it's quite the handy tool. All right, so before we continue in the Bead Buster video on how to change out your tires, I wanted to cover a product that was sent to me um, through Amazon. So I have a portable max volume compressor here, and this is awesome. And the reason why it's cool is that it's a great compressor to take in back of your vehicle. So when you're out on an outing and you need to do something bigger like your truck tires, your UTV tires, of course, um, all that kind of stuff, trailer tires, whatever, when you're traveling, this is a great unit to have with you. So basically, you get the full size unit, which is pretty decent size, a little bit bigger than I'd probably need to like actually carry it on the UTV. So I would definitely keep this in back of my truck. It has the setup to plug right on to your battery cables. So you just, your battery terminals, I should say. So you plug them right onto your battery terminals comes with a couple different nozzles you can screw on. This is about a 26 foot hose that it extends out to. It also comes with a gauge um, and a screw on for your valve stem. And then what's really cool is this is actually a quick connect and disconnect. And then you got your power button. So overall, this item works extremely well. If you're looking at some of our old videos where Dave has done some compressor um, test, I think he did one compressor test, of quite a bit smaller compressor, ones that we more carry on our UTVs. Um, it was really, really slow to blow up like a truck tire when he tested it on that. It did work, but it took a lot of time. Um, also, if you're out towing boats, if you're towing RVs, um, all of your trailers that you tow in order to haul your UTVs, this would be more of a better compressor to take with you, and it will fill up your tire a whole lot faster than those small little ones. So. This is a great product. Overall, it's not too loud. It's pretty quiet. Um, it works great as far as on the truck. I tested it on that. Of course, it's gonna work great on the UTVs. The only issue that I have is that it does the battery terminal connections. I wish it had a way to unplug this and put in a 12 volt cigarette lighter attachment or a wall attachment if you wanted to use it at the house. Um, that would be great to great to do so maybe they can do that later on after watching this video of the review other than that the construction of the compressor and everything um, is really well built comes with a carry case as well so I'm just gonna throw it all in there put it back in my truck so wherever I go I always have a compressor to take care of any of my needs in case I get a flat tire or need to help somebody as well all right so check it out on Amazon if you look in our description below we also are offering a 10% discount code for this item um, just use that code in the description and then also the link in the description to uh, pick up your compressor today. All right, 
We'll get back to the Beat Buster video. All right guys, so here's the tire and the rim. One thing that you'll notice is that I actually set it on top of a five gallon bucket to make this process a whole lot easier. Um, but I actually learned that from the YouTube channel on Rocky Mountain ATV and uh, it works really well. All right, so the first thing we need to do, of course, real quick is brake, brake, whatever that means. Take out the valve stem real quick, get the air out of the tire. And then by hand, um, the stock bolts on these are 14 millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and loosen them all up and get ready to take off the bead lock. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. It's all nice and loose. Get the bead buster tool. And the first part is, is getting it under the first one here. Once you get it under the first time, then the rest go pretty easy. Just suck it there. That way it sits underneath that lip. All right, and just like that, the bead's off. Now we gotta work the tire off. So just put that in the center of it and just kind of get a spot where it comes off. And once it starts coming off. And there you go. Okay, now that I got that tire off, I'm gonna Throw some, all it is is dish soap, um, water mixture. And we're just cleaning any grease stuff off the beadlock. Up underneath. And also down here. Okay, once I'm done with that, then the tire is ready to go back on. So you're gonna use some dish soap mixture, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on the side of the tire that's gonna be going on first. It just helps it um, slide on a little bit easier. So you're gonna sit like this, and just spray it. On there. And there it is. So I'll get that matched up and get everything else installed again. So these bead locks actually have an arrow where the valve stem goes. So just going like that. And the system that I like to use seems to work really well. Is I just do a cross pattern with four first. So they're all lined up nice and even. And then I like to lightly tighten them all down. Just 
just like that. And then get the rest of the bolts installed and then we'll start torquing them down to spec. All right, we're gonna start torquing them at 10 foot-pounds to start, and then we'll go to 20. Okay, and now we're gonna go up to 20. All right, those are our torque. Time to get some air in it and uh, Pop the bead back on. If you guys don't have one of these gauges, they're really cool as well. They read, take air out, all that kind of stuff. We'll throw a link in the description below um, so you can get one on Amazon. Just wait for that big pop. Check it real quick. Everything looks good. Go back on here. We'll get the valve stem back in and we'll get them thrown back on the KRX. If you want to check, you can throw some of this detergent on here, of this dish soap, stick it on the valve, make sure I don't have any leaks, and everything looks good. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this information to be beneficial for you. The Bead Buster is a great tool. We have the link below to Amazon in the description below. And it worked great if you have beadlock rims and want to change out tires multiple times on your UTVs or maybe you need to change out tires on something else that you have, it uh, works wonders. So other than that, we wanna bring you guys a lot more content. It's just been extremely hot to be out riding. So we need to find some time to get up in the mountains higher. We hopefully need to get back into our overland trailers. Just a quick update with those. Those are all holding up great. Um, no issues, we just need to get out and use them more. So we're trying to come up with some different ideas that we can do to get up higher in the mountains to get out of this heat to give you guys some content. If you have any ideas, leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you guys wanna see next. We do have some pretty cool ideas coming up for some new machines and different things that we plan on doing um, real soon. So until next time, make sure whatever you pack in, you pack out. And this is Garrett with Deranged Off-Road.